Hi everyone, tonight I'm going to be um, doing a July baby finds video for you. Um, this is my very first baby finds video, so I'm just going to give you a rundown of what it's going to be. It's either going to be baby products that I bought or that I discovered, um, and I'm going to try and do this every month so that you can kind of see what's been really great for us. Uh, I'm not going to be doing a whole lot of reviews on these items, and if it's something that I'm really excited about, I'll make a separate video. Um, but anyway, I guess I'm just going to go ahead and get started and tell you what I found for this month. So the first thing I'm going to share with you is um, this teether ball. Um, we got this at Target. It is, I believe, Munchkin. And this is something that Addison is really um, into right now, I guess. The great thing about it is it's got these nubs all over. I don't know what else to call them. They're like little spikes, I guess. And each spike has a different texture on it. And she loves chew on them. Um, she's not a huge fan of like the really squishy gel toys. Um, I don't think they're hard enough for her. I'm not kidding. Every video my dog barks. It drives me nuts. I apologize. Um, and it's fun because it twists and it makes this noise. It rattles. Uh, it's pretty cool. So I think this was like $3.95 at Target, super cheap, and uh, she loved it. In fact, she wanted to play with it in the store <laughs> so bad. Actually, I let her. I took it out of the packaging, and then I used my disinfectant wipes on it and gave it to her. And she's fine. She didn't get any diseases, so don't judge me. <laughs> it's whatever you can do to make your daughter happy. That's my opinion. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Another thing we found at Target, and I believe you can find these at Walmart as well, is a munchkin spoon. And these are, um, I think, exactly like the Boone spoons. I want another spoon. I want another one of these because um, when we're traveling, it's nice to have two. And I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, but so I think I'm going to buy the Boone spoon so I can kind of do a comparison review on the two items and see which one I like better. Basically, I'm going to... I'll show you more about it in that video, but you just put food in this part, it um, unscrews, and you put food in there, and then you can screw it on, and then you can close, twist this to close it and open it, oops, I didn't get it screwed on very well. You can twist the spoon part to close and open it, and then it also has a lid. So basically you just squirt the spoon, the food onto the spoon, and then you put it in the baby's mouth, and it's easy. I've already used it a lot. Um, it's great for, like, day trips. I put, um, what I, what I usually do is I put the food in the thing. It's usually, and you could do jar food, but uh, I've never used jar food because I don't use give her jar food. Um, so what we do is we put a frozen piece of, a frozen cube of baby food that I've made. Um, I put it in my cooler and then it, once it's lunchtime, it's thawed and um, I just feed it to her and she loves it and it actually is very clean. Um, so yeah, I'll do a better review on that later. That's something that we've really enjoyed. Uh, let's see, the third item that we like for this month, we've I went to our local thrift store, and I found we've been needing a some kind of a bath seat because Addison doesn't sit up very well by herself, and sitting up in the bath is impossible. So I've been looking for some kind of a bath seat of some sort so she doesn't slip around, um, and I don't have to constantly be holding her and trying to wash her at the same time. It's not very easy when you have a squirmy baby like my child. And I actually came across the Safety First baby seat, and I'll post a picture of it now. And as you can see, it just hooks onto the side of your bathtub. It has a little part, place for me to lean on. And then she sits right in the seat, and I can just wash her. And so far, that's been awesome. She does really well. And the best part is I spent $1.50 on it. So... Uh, what else could I ask for? It was, you know, gross and dirty, but I cleaned it up and bleached it and it turned out perfect. Um, shoes. I did not realize that shoes would be important for a baby who's not walking. But one thing I mentioned in her update, I think I mentioned this, her doctor update, 
is that Addison does not walk flat-footed. Um, she walks on her tiptoes and that's a problem. So when we practice walking at least. So one thing my pediatrician, her pediatrician recommended is that we put shoes on her um, and stiffer, stiffer soled shoes, not the cheap baby soft soled shoes. Um, and then it also gives her good attraction too. But so we like these. I thought we, my aunt actually got us these Circo shoes from Target. Super cute shoes. I love them. And they have a nice rubber sole on the bottom. So we put these on her feet and she is forced to step flat footed. Um, and the reason I guess they don't like them walking on their tiptoes is because that when they're on their tiptoes like this, it shortens their calf muscle um, and causes problems later on. I didn't know that. So if your child does that, that's a warning. So yeah, shoes are great. Um, what else? Oh, I did a video on these, and I'll post a link to that video down below. These mesh feeders. They're awesome. We love them. We use them every day. Oh, every day. Um, either bananas, strawberries, some kind of fresh fruit. And it's great because it, she's independent then. I don't have to feed her, and she can just munch on that. I did mention that I make my own baby food, which is great, except for when I need to travel like a long distance, and then I can't keep the baby food frozen. And when I need it, I can't just microwave it. So um, what I have found are these awesome, this one's actually a plum organic, plum tots organics, I can't I think that's how you say it, plum organics for tots. And it's food in a little squeeze bottle, and the top screws off, I'm not going to do it I guess. And then you just squirt it onto a spoon, um, and it's great for traveling because then it's all natural, 100% natural, I believe. Um, and you just squirt it, and it's there, and it's good to go, and you don't have to worry about thawing your baby food, and it's clean. And I think they even make spoons for the ends, but we don't use it often enough for me to spend four dollars on the spoons. So, yeah, that's really cool. And, I mean, you could use this as well. You could squirt baby food in there, but this is just convenient. So it's something that we like. That is the banana mishmash one, and I think we got, like, a pear, peach, and strawberry one as well. I didn't find a whole lot of vegetable ones, so I don't know. I'm going to have to keep looking, see if they have any veggies. At least not the organic, all-natural ones. So, I don't know. Um, we also found this fun item, which isn't really a necessity, but it's really cute. This baby bib, which has, it's an Etsy, I got it off an Etsy store, and I can't remember the name of the Etsy shop right now. I'll link it down below. Actually, I got it through what's called Very Jane, um, which they always have, like, certain deals a day. It's a lot like, um baby bargain stores but websites where they have like one item posted and then you get like a really good deal on it until it sells out but it's called Very Jane and they usually have handmade items and they had these cute bibs um, so I got Addison's name embroidered onto it and uh, it's got this nice terry cloth back it's super cute and it is really easy to clean up so I got her that uh, and I'll link again the Etsy shop down below um, let's see, Grandma L's, oh my, I love this stuff, and this is from greenbabybargains.com, I found a super awesome deal on their Grandma L's diaper grass cream, um, which we've been needing, and I've been putting off buying because it's so blasted expensive, it's like $12 for this, um, on websites, and it's even $12 for this, for the, we could, we're going to buy California Baby, at Target for $12, but then I found this. So what you got was not only did you get this, but yeah, this <laughs> for 12 bucks. So I got spent $12 on what I normally would be buying this for $12. So yeah, Grandma Elves is awesome. It's for cloth diapering. Um, here's what it looks like. I, I had no idea. It's like a petroleum jelly is what it looks like. It's not, obviously. Um, but it's got really 
awesome ingredients in it that's safe cloth, safe for cloth diapering. And in my opinion, it smells awesome. I love it. I think it smells so cool. We bought a backpack carrier. Actually, my parents bought a backpack carrier for us. Um, it's a Kelty backpack carrier. I'll post a picture of it now. Uh, it's awesome. It's a cute blue color, um, so Nick's not going to be ashamed to carry it, and um, she loves it. She's actually fallen asleep in it. We, we've used it a lot already, and we just got it this month. So that was a pretty cool item, and um, if you're interested, I can do a better review on it and show you actual footage of our backpack, so let me know if that's something you'd be interested in me making a video on. As I told you in Addison's update, she did get sick. So one thing that we found that is really helpful when she gets sick, especially when she gets a cold, is vapor bath. Johnson's soothing vapor bath. It smells... Um, I haven't actually opened this one. It smells like vapor rub. It's really soothing. I mean, it just... You know how when you put vapor rub on your chest, um, it just really calms you down, especially when you have a cough. And I just find that it's awesome for her. Then we also, these are really funny. We bought these, we got these bath toys for the bathtub, which she doesn't really play with them in the bathtub, but she loves them just when she's playing on the floor. She loves to chew on them. Um, and I actually have to be careful because the dog loves to chew on them as well. We already ruined one. <laughs> so, but they're just these little sea toys. I think you can get them, I think they came from Target. I don't even know what brand they are. Oh, they're Munchkin. So like cute little uh, sea animal squirters. They're just bath squirters. But she loves to chew on them now. And then um, some other small things that we got. I have discovered that since Addison grows so fast, usually her dresses get short before she actually outgrows them because she's so skinny. So we have started buying leggings and um, Target had a clearance on their leggings and I got two different sizes because she grows so fast I didn't know for sure what size she would need. These are actually dirty <laughs> but they're these pink they're really soft and these are by Trump Trumpet 2 Trumpet 2 I don't think that's how you say it but they have little butterflies on them they're pink they're really stretchy cute and then we have a bigger size with flowers on them. And we spent $2 on these. They were originally 8 And then I also got some little white leggings from Target. And these were actually $3 and they're not near as good of quality. But that's what you get. They were not on clearance. And then the last thing. Call me crazy, but I am already buying stuff for Addison's birthday. Um, which is obviously... A little bit le less than six months away, um, but I figure it's never too early to start. And Target had has right now these awesome T-shirts. Well, I think they're called like rocker shirts. I'm not even sure what they're called. It's just, well, it's just a long sleeve tee, but the it's got the T under the T-shirt look. Isn't that cute? Five dollars. <laughs> And I got 12 months, but I might need to grab 18 months. I'm not even for sure yet. I might just buy both um, and see which one fits her. But yeah, since her birthday's in January, she's going to have to have long sleeves. And then I'm going to make a skirt, tutu skirt thing to go with it. So, yep, that was it. Um, so those are the finds that I found for Addison for the month of July. If you have a Baby Finds video that you'd like to share with me, please link it below. And I will look forward to watching it. Thanks for um, watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.